Hey everybody, Model Man here, and today I'm going to be doing three different kit reviews. Well, two kit reviews and a book review. The Star Wars Blueprints. This is the $60 version available on Amazon, not the $250, $500 version that I believe is like nearly twice as large as this whole thing, which means it's four times the size. One, two, three, four. Cool book. A few things I was hoping for that would be there that aren't there but we'll take a quick breeze through that and over here this is the STS crawler transporter 1144 scale for the space shuttle copyright 2010 David R Meyer educraftdiversions.org is the website you want to go look under the space link and see all the crazy models that are there not only for the space shuttle but also for the Saturn V towers launch platform and crawlers as well all in paper and over here cue the bongos gunshot enter stage left mrs peel a smoking gun in hand the lotus alon s3 as driven by mrs peel and the british show the avengers this kit i'll be painting up like her car it's a uh, light pale pale blue not quite a silver and this is my first kit from Gunze Sangyo, or as the Americans would probably say it, Gun Sangyo. And even then, I'm sure the Japanese pronunciation I've got there is going terrible. It's Gunze Sangyo, yeah. But I'm saying it terribly. 124th scale, ready to assemble plastic model kit. A lot of color calls here that I'll never understand, but that's okay some nice little pictures and from here on let's break each of these into its own review episode and we'll see what's up the STS crawler transporter in 1144th scale for the space shuttle era of NASA designed in 2010 by David R. Mayer of educraftdiversions.org this is a paper model of the crawler itself. There is also the mobile launch platform and even the launch tower itself, not only for the space shuttle, but also for, uh, actually, not only for the space shuttle in 1144th scale, but also in 172nd scale, and also for the Saturn V in 172, 144, 196, maybe even other one other weird little, uh, scale in there as well. The kit comes with this nondescript CD which I will now mark up myself because otherwise it'll get lost to something else. EdgyCraftDiversions.org and this is STS Crawler and the disc also contains a PDF for the mobile launch platform in 1144 but it's probably the same directions for 172 I bet as well. The PDFs themselves are something like a hundred megs each and maybe like 70 pages. It's crazy. One of the opening statements on how to put this together is take your time, cut only what you need to cut when it needs to be cut, go in a very particular order as laid out in the instructions and considering that there are 13 pages in this uh, One thing would have been handy is every page is labeled page one two three four But having like a slash and then the total pages to make sure that you've got them all and haven't lost any Would definitely not be a bad thing. I happen to open up to this and it says backup parts So that is kind of a nice feature there if it includes commonly made mistake pieces All of the printing is really really nice there's some great details on here and the thing that struck me about looking at the photos on the website is you really can't tell that there is so little depth going on with that kind of stuff right there. The detail on this is amazing in so many places everywhere. The colors, maybe that's a little too punchy for the rust. Maybe not. Maybe it can be faded down somehow. Maybe it'll even fade in time with exposure to just ultraviolet. This is professionally printed, so it's not like he did this on his own home printer at all, which means the colors should be color fast.
getting up really really close there's you really can't see any rosetting going on in the print can't really see any particular pixels resolution is really really sharp all around all these details the colors certainly appear to be well chosen overall The instruction CD also includes uh, some reference photos, that is to say the reference photos are built into the instructions and uh, some of them are unique, they must be unique. Not even NASA has really shown too many photos of the crawler, the mobile launch platform and all of the other stuff quite so closely as this guy has. I'm wondering if he doesn't work at NASA or have particular access going on. I've never done a paper kit before, whether I do some other cheap one before this to get in the practice and the know-how before risking this. Uh, and this was uh, somewhere under $30 or so, I think. Probably a little more with shipping. Pages are all 11 by 17. It comes rolled up in a uh, standard mailer, and that itself is put into a larger box, which, while thrown out now, has been perfectly adequate to the job. What I plan on doing with these guys is storing these flat inside one of my 1172 space shuttle boxes because uh, I spent a few days flattening these out under some really heavy books. That's a really nice piece right there. The instructions did suggest here and there that in some places you're going to have to use a heavier material. Uh, Specifically, I think that was mentioned with some really thin styrene, heavy, heavy cardboard, such as you find in maybe like a t-shirt package, that kind of thing. Nice details in there. Backup parts, just in case. Nice. A few of the tools you need are a straight edge and a fresh razor blade, if not lots of fresh razor blades, exacto blades, because everything that's white has got to be cut out and I can see how this is going to be a really in-depth build. Not only the first paper build I've ever done, but also quite easily this is going to be the most complex. Spare color stock, nice, so you can cut out backup pieces in case you ruined any. That is page 13 of 13. Don't want to show you the PDFs. Uh, the instructions are highly detailed though, so you don't have to worry about that. Talking with David as I did a few times about the kit initially, uh, he seems like a really good and forthright and honest guy who's uh, really p putting out there a fantastic product overall and certainly one that's relatively unique. There was a plastic Space Shuttle Launch Tower, for example, there are usually some plastic versions of the mobile launch platform that'll come with a Space Shuttle, but there's nothing that's ever been done like this to this kind of detail. And probably the only way to do this better would be to go with, uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to go and store this flat for a while, and... Believe me, the $30 this costs, you got to get the mobile launch platform to go on this so you can actually put the kit on top of it. And it's said in the instructions that this is more than stable enough once it's put together to actually hold the Ravel or Monogram or whoever's 1144 space shuttle or the 172 if you get the 172 version of this and so on. So yeah this is pretty freaking fantastic i'm really looking forward to this but it's going to be a long while before i actually get to it wow look at those cable racks right there one of the things i was talking with david about was lighting this up and uh he said that maybe one or two people have done it but not to the way that i had described i was thinking i would do it and as you guys know with my stuff i like to get kind of crazy with all the lighting design that i do so I could see fiber optics all over the place in this thing and uh, some really fun stuff. And as David pointed out, you wouldn't necessarily have to hide the wires because they could actually add 
to the effect of the model itself and make it look even more realistic in depth and in depth. So that's it for the STS Crawler Transporter and 1144 from Educraft Diversions. I can't recommend this highly enough. This is $30 very well spent and I'm looking forward to getting more products from them as well. So, thanks for watching. See ya.